So I'm standing here on the floor of your convention pack uh, based on your game. Like I said before, your personal, all your work, these, these little people don't matter. Um, we're looking at your new uh, player versus player game mode, which uh, a little bit of a, like some people might say it may not fit. I mean, like, how did you guys come up with the idea? Uh, well, as you said, the, the game has been expanding over three years, and we really just need to push that gap of, you know, how far can we go with our community and introduce new extravagant game modes outside of our, you know, our third-person shooting, our arc wing. Like, we want variety, and as much as we're known for PvE, we really do want to expand the PvP, and, and we thought this was just a great fit for the universe uh, of Warframe. But how do you decide what makes sort of like... The Warframe universe. We come up with ideas and then the community decides if this fits Warframe. We do all this for the community and if it doesn't get great feedback, they're not liking it, it's probably going to disappear, which has happened with other game modes. Uh, we had this idea in the back of our head. We thought it would be a fun PvP experience. Um, and then we let the community decide and the reception's been amazing and uh, we're having a blast making it. and. Uh, you know, we'll see what the future holds with expanding the, the Lunaro game mode. I mean, uh, like clearly the community is outspoken. I mean, we are sitting here right now in the middle of, I think I heard 1,200 people who have come here from all, like all over the world, Asia, Europe, to celebrate this game. Talk to you guys. That's got to be a little bit like... It's overwhelming like, for really? sure. Yeah, it's really overwhelming. We weren't sure how many people were going to come to lonely London, Ontario, Canada to celebrate our game. We I are mean, so... I almost didn't come because I mean, it's a two hour drive. Yeah. <laughs> we are so infused with our community. Our community is what makes Warframe. And we do our live streams, we do our fun alerts for everyone, but we're like, how can we expand this and bring our community together and celebrate with them what they've done for Warframe? Yeah. You're standing in a convention that was basically funded by the players who support our game and we love them for it. And we're gonna keep making Warframe, and hopefully, you know, TennoCon might be a thing next year. You're getting a you're getting a cut of the door, right? Uh, I mean, you worked so hard on the game, Pat. Actually, all ticket proceeds uh, have actually gone to a local charity in London, Ontario. So we raised over sixty thousand dollars. Everything's going to charity. Well, I hope you can write this off on your taxes then. I hope so too. It's Ontario, so it might be possible. But we're just happy. We actually have a few charities here uh, just outside the doors that we're supporting, and people are donating to. And again, oh, the all puppies. The, the puppies are the so puppies, cute. The puppies, the baby Kubros. I just want to go play with the puppies every time. <laughs> Forget video games, let's just go play with puppies. Exactly. That's the type of man I am, a puppy man. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you, as you said before, the way you decide is you guys, you, you've, you've given agency to the community that you guys have built for this. Yes. Um, not all ideas are great ideas though. So, I mean, at some point, you guys got to be working internally, refining things. Yes, absolutely. Um, a, a great example, originally when we came out with this, um, we didn't know a lot about the free-to-play structure and how that should work. And we were charging, we thought it'd be a great idea to charge people to go to new planets and do new things. And our community completely crapped out on that idea and told us, and Ooh, we immediately changed it. Ooh, yeah. 11 nothing. settle down, Steven. Our QA lead is kicking ass right now. Yes, Steven, our QA lead is... Steven Harris, our QA lead on PS4. Red 10 seven points. No assists, not a team player. <laughs> not a team player um, at all. But again, yeah, so we constantly get player feedback. And again, our communication and our dedication to our community, they're what builds this game. They tell us what sucks and what's good. We can't always change everything, but we're always evolving. Our ears are always open, and, and we're, we, we love the feedback. We love it. So three years you guys have been working on this game. Yeah, a little over three years. It's, it's changed so drastically, at least from what I can see. What about you guys? What about on the back end? How has it changed for you guys? For us, it's, it's the overwhelming love, and our love for this original concept that we had that we wanted to make 10 years ago, and just... The, the passion of the team is insane because, again, with a box title, build something for three years, ship it, yeah. you get your initial feedback, it's over. We get feedback every week with every build we do. And like the positivity from the community is amazing. So what drives us is the community and our love for the game and you know what crazy, wacky Space Ninja stuff can we do next? That's gotta be nerve wracking. Like every week, like you jump on Reddit, you see what people are saying. 
I honestly probably wouldn't go on Reddit because I just I'd be afraid myself. I myself don't dig into the forums as much as I should because I would cry myself to sleep. But we have dedicated community team and all of our lead designers and stuff. They're they're nose deep in that stuff. They they're diehard. Uh, yeah, you get some negative feedback, but you also get a lot of positive and like. Again, TennoCon today just shows the love of the community and the love of this game. And you keep supporting us, we're going to keep building it and making it bigger and better. Yeah. Uh, but I, I keep watching uh, the gameplay in front of us as we're talking, and nothing like I've played so far. I mean, like, I, I just wonder, how do you guys keep the game diverse without breaking it? Like, I, at some point, I, if it was me, I would have broken the game long ago. But We break the game a lot. We really do. Um, it, it's such an ever-evolving game, especially like when it comes to starting like, a PS4 build. We, like Our checklist to go through this game is like a two-day checklist just to cover our butts for everything. Again, the beauty of DE is we open up the game to everyone in the studio. You have an idea, pitch it to the creative director. Put it in our, our wiki page, and we just pull ideas and bring them down. Everyone gets to contribute to the game, and that's what makes it a success. I, I could see how that would be helpful, but there'd be days where I would just want to write, like, F off. <laughs> so, uh, <yeah>. but, but <laughs> we, uh, we actually have, like, a wall of shame where we print off some of the most notorious quotes people send us on forums. And do, you, do you need a few in the more? Office? I can give you some. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty. Uh, uh, we... One of my fun things we do, uh, Sony has a crash tool. So every new build we put out, we go look at the Sony crash tool to make sure the game's stable and all that. And where you to put the comments in as to why you crashed, like, I was playing Lunaro and the game crashed after host migration. We get a lot of bleepity bleep, DE, go to hell and die. Uh, yeah. But those also make our day because they're kind of funny. Yes, I'm also the best player here. Yes. I can beat all of you. Absolutely. Is there like really a rivalry into the studio for Lunaro? Uh, it's, let me tell you this. Before we went into CERT, I jumped in and played with QA. Yeah. And I got my ass handed to me by them. Uh, I don't think there's much competition in the studio with this. Because generally it's designers playing with QA, and QA is always going to trim you. Yeah, because we all know QA, they're all, all they do is play video games all day. But yeah, that's all yeah. they do. They're, they're lazy, and they just play video games. But no, we have, we have amazing internal QA. Um, and again, the community is our QA. We put a build out. They let us know what's not working, what's wrong, anything we miss. Because, you know, it is such a big game. Uh, and we get that feedback, and we iterate on everything that comes in. That's, that's going to be a... Uh, like a situation where you guys put out something and you get so much feedback. I don't know. I, in that sort of situation, obviously not all the feedback is going to be positive. Right. That's just reality. I don't. How do you guys handle that? Because I would be like scared, senseless every time I put something out that like, oh no, yeah. someone doesn't like it. Warframe is no longer a game. It's a service. And it's a service our dedicated players pay into when they like the game. And that's what, you know, keeps the studio open, feeds, feeds the people. Uh, we're so used to it. It's been, like you said, it's over three years deep. This is the process. Put something out. Feedback. Iteration. Put yeah. something out. Feedback. Iteration. Honestly, I don't want to go back to box titles after experiencing this. It's crazy. You'll have your days where you read stuff and you're going, not for me today, but most days it's They're not all a lot bad. of positivity. Yeah, Star exactly. Trek, for example. <laughs> not sure what that is, but uh, uh, you know, it's a movie, right? Game? Yeah. Never heard of that game? So, no. No, never. Okay, well... Uh, you did mention that um, a large part of your, uh, you know, player base, like this, this is a game where people can play for free, but there's also a game where they can put a lot of money and customize and stuff. Yes. Uh, Lunero specifically, is there sort of an extra element of customization through, you know, paying for it that I just haven't seen yet? Um, right now, with the first implementation of Lunero, nothing you pay for will enhance gameplay. We have uh, a skin for the scoop. We also have uh, armor you can earn through our Conclave system, which is PvP, which, uh, yeah, sorry, PvP. Um, the armor you can purchase right off the hop, or you can get Conclave standing and purchase that for free as well. You just got to work a little harder. Awesome. But nothing that will enhance or change gameplay. I'm, I'm pretty good at this, but um, <laughs> Jesus, 19 to nothing? Go yeah, easy you're on scum. the guy. Those poor kids. Those poor kids, though, are treating you guys like superstars today. Uh, yeah, it's extremely overwhelming, the, the, the positive feedback. And, you know, a lot of our guys are familiar faces with our live streams. We do bi-weekly. Actually, we do about, what, four live streams a week these days. Um, again, 
It's interaction with the community. Yeah. You have to have that. Uh, it's what makes our day. It's what makes this game what it is. Uh, so I saw you at this show or you were on this live stream. It was kind of funny hearing that today because I, I don't show up on them too often, but yeah. a few people recognize me and it was, it was pretty nice. But how are you going to go back to tomorrow? You're your boring life when you <laughs> I'm assuming your life is boring I don't know oh, you could be I do a secret not agent. have a boring life we're gonna work pretty hard to get uh, Spectres of the Rail out on PS4 as quick as we can okay yeah uh, we there's there's lots to do with that but again we try to turn over the builds as fast as possible making sure they're as stable as possible and they're gonna pass Sony Surge and be the best build we can for our PS4 players I don't know if you would mind me saying this but before we actually started talking about this uh, you and Sony you guys are apparently pretty pretty good with uh, search and stuff like that we are somebody should deserve an award <laughs> we would love an award sony treats us really good though uh we were a day one launch title in november of 2013 on the ps4 yeah like one of 14 uh, i think I, exactly i would love to say we're the face of free to play of ps4 but that's you know that's up to sony well when i downloaded uh, it you were the biggest icon on the page and i i had warframe installed nine gigs probably one of the first builds yeah I tried to update, wouldn't update, download. Now you guys are like 32 builds. But it was very easy to find you guys. Yes. Like you were right there. I go to free and then it's Warframe. We have an awesome, we have awesome account managers uh, globally uh, that uh, are really big on free to play. Um, our North American account manager, they have uh, their own free to play team. They, they see the value. Sony sees the value in free to play. Uh, and we work closely with them from March of 2013 on, changing policies, changing search structure, changing everything to make it work for free to play and indie developers. And uh, yeah, I'd like to say we're good buddies with Sony. Well, it's, it's good that you have a good relationship with them because without them, I mean, you have the PC and who's playing PC games these days? <laughs> oh, except everybody, everyone's playing Everybody, PC. we're, yeah. we're uh, I forgot always, about that. We've been top 10 on oh. Steam for a very long time now and we're, we're very proud of that and hold that close to our heart, but uh, you know, we love consoles just as much, and like, we're we have almost seven million players on PS4 right now. So we're growing and growing, and it's not going to stop. Jeez, that's that's roughly what like that's over half of the people that have PlayStation. Uh, I think there's about 40 million consoles out there these days. At this but point? we're I would if we got to half the user base. Maybe I was thinking 14 would, million and not 40 million. I would be popping champagne right now if that were the case. <laughs> Oh, but I, I'm, we're very happy with the numbers, and it continues to grow. Um, and, and the quality of the game shows, and you're going to get those players once you make a good game and word gets out. And word apparently has gone out about this. Once again, we're standing in the middle of your convention. I, I mean, who even would have thought you guys would have had a convention when this all started? Are you impressed by how big it got? Uh, it's insane. We have over 1,200 of our 10 joining us from all corners of the world. Yeah. Uh, it, I want to cry right now. I'm so happy, but uh, yeah, the, the support is amazing, and we did this for them. This everything today is for them, and we we really appreciate people coming out. So, three to one. It's a little bit fairer, a little bit easier this time on the other guys. Uh, this yeah. round. If I have to kick Steven in the leg a few more times, he's gonna have a bruise. So, so take it so, easy. So Steven's taking it easy. But how hard was it for you to actually make this fair and balanced for? you know just the average person uh it was definitely a labor of love for a few months uh we did not want to put this out uh on balance like this is one of those again when you get into pvp you have to make sure the balance is there and you know we've made mistakes in the past not everything is going to be balanced but uh we thought we had everything tip top ready to go make sure it's balanced and i think the community is as mentioned it is pretty fair it's pretty good but man i'm getting I've had my ass kicked a few times playing. Well, haven't we all? And I, th I think on on that we can agree, and I think we'll end it on that because, uh, man, I just just want to get in there and play. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much. Have a great TennoCon.